So here we are into the game. My name is Mott Pax. Been providing you with all of this coverage. Because I love you all so dearly. Prepare for battle. This will be game 20. Oh, what the? Oh, why can't I click my mini map? No. Why can't I? No! What's happening? Oh, that's not where we're gonna have to reset. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins. Gold is a great conductor. Oh, we're in! Minimap, please. Oh, we got minimap! Woo! Look how small the little hero portraits are. They're so tiny. Does it have any big they are usually? No, either way. Or fix it. Don't worry, I got you. I got you all covered. Usually 600, they're like one right now. All right, we're back, we're in. Nobody died, nobody panicked. Everything's a-okay. Stream is running. Dota TV's up. Okay, where were we? I think I was saying that I'm off packs and I don't screw up streams. And so here we are. All right, so too late. He's gonna try his hand at the clock clockwork this game. He's been all over the place tonight. Dark Steers, Night Stalkers, you name it. He's your man. And he can do it. He's in some big matches. A couple of games we call him the MVP, so. He's going to have to try and put the team on his back one more time and get them into Shanghai. What have you Double damage! Right, too late. Do it with flair. All right, so a little bit of a, a treat eating here in the mid lane. This is DD running on each end. I'm gonna trade with Moo. So let's see how they want to play this. Uh, we didn't get a chance to take a look at the warding situation, which is pretty important to the lanes. They've got the one here in the mid. Gang heroes, not so much in terms of early rotations for IG. Um, maybe at first night, there might be coming, you know, someone in the mid lane. And during the draft, we talked about how they're going to need somebody to help protect the mid lane. I mean, the Earth Spear can do this, but really, it's not going to be that bad. It's just they didn't draft someone for it. Um, so we should be relatively okay. Jesus seems loud. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, it's just me. In fact, I'll turn up the game sounds a little bit. Just for you guys. 
So winning the last set of war, it is how. And not surprisingly, this uh, Phoenix XXS, he can't even be in the lane. He's going for the early offing the Iron Talon. We've I mean, seen this on numerous heroes lately. Earthshakers, Night Stalkers, Train Protectors. I mean, a little bit of a different case there in terms of farming the job, but just a lot of heroes that it allows them to get something into their offlane here. And it seems to be leading to more early abandonments, too. Uh, kind of like you get earlier levels so you can leave the lane and go be active rather than like sticking around to like minute six or something just trying to get that last like fourth level or something like that because you have no hope of jungling. So pretty quiet here. Yeah, there's no tough so the, the biggest thing we have is a night, night saga, but he doesn't have a little buddy to really roam with him. Like AA, it's not that scary. And how he's very happy to farm up here, getting to his room with Aquila, you know, getting some treads. Chuan, of course, greenier support here on the event. Oh, too late. Okay, that's an inventory. Whew, I was getting worried. I was like, that is a dicey spot to be in. How is Baboka? Oh, okay, there's a sentry. They were tracking him down here. Phase boots, great TP. Plenty of ways to give wounds. He did TP home though. Instead of TPing to the lane, that might have been a mistake. I guess he grabs a couple items. There comes the roll and you can't get the angle, it's too fast. Oh, can they get it? Maybe they can. Last race. Not nah, gonna connect. Okay, fire now. The dive in, the re goose coming in. I need two hands for this camera work. Very fire again from Lyft. Oh, he gets the raise! Wow! What level's that? Jeez, level 6. I guess there we He actually... He must have been 5, so... There you go. Points in the raise already. He must have been just 2 into the... Necromastery. So, well done. First blood. Gold. Cha-chang. And that's kind of early rotation we were talking of. Oh, top lane. Well, he'll see this. He might have to go bot. And the rune will actually be there if he does. Of course, he'd love to spam out his way first. Oh, and Razor actually goes top two. Maybe a miscommunication there. Probably could have got both. I guess he just really wanted the bounty. And well, we get one kill out of it, and uh, next success. Misses. Get himself some boots despite dying. Using the iron talent on that jungle camp. Moo. A lot of their uh, overall tempo is going to be decided what he decided, or going to be decided by what he is uh, going to be opting for. Can you still go mechanism with the changes to the mana? Less mana coming from bottle. More mana for raises. I don't know if it's going to be viable anymore. I mean, I'm sure it's possible if you have arcane boots and you're really like committed to a five-man death ball, but I don't know if it's going to be kind of a... Uh, you know, teams used to still get it even if they weren't five-man total death falling, right? We'll see. How plenty of options here uh, in terms of items. He's very ready to fight. Ring of Aquila, Magic Wand, loves somebody to come down here and try and tango with him. QD, well, similarly, he is going for probably the armlet. Not a lot of my snakes is lately. And overall, the damage, it's it's a pretty good minus game. Obviously, through Magnetize, pretty easy. He's trying to find this Earth Spirit. Not going to grab him. And then just TP away. As Wrong was making his way up here, and he's level 4, so with the silence, more than likely would have led to the Earth's death. So, just some good positioning. That uh, helps out with these wards here from the Radiant side, spotting a lot of these rotations. Attack. And similarly in the Dire. Both mids well protected. And neither haven't fallen yet. 
I'll take a look over to the net worth. You can see that Moo, not surprisingly, he's a shadow fiend who hasn't died. He is on top. And should be followed up by Hao, so they're taking a pretty early lead. Over top of IG Vitality. And you gotta imagine, most people, probably if you're just coming into this, you're gonna be favoring newbie. I actually didn't check the odds. Okay, let's bring those up, because that could be interesting. I guess, what, 70-30? Uh, is that right? 63-37. That seems fair. In favor of newbie. I could, uh, I could agree with that. So where is this level 6 from Tule? Oh, it's almost good. And that's when the rotations come. Actually, it's very early. How playing the gyro power that he loves so much. He's role playing right now. Coming up here at level 6, looking for a big gold dive. And they're going to smoke up past the wave. We great timing here as it advances. And do they want more than Boboka? I don't know about this Night Stalker. The courier, there's a courier, there's a courier. Oh, I don't think he saw it. He did see it. Did they not see it? It's just like sitting there. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I don't think I don't think they noticed because it was like kind of brown. I'm calling that a cosmetic issue, cause that that was a pay-to-win courier right there. Did you guys see that? It like looks like the Dyer, you know? It's like blending in. See this shit? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Tactical courier decisions. Gonna save one out from the Weaver here is how he's come up top. He's, he's done with this QD Better business. That. He needs to give Chuan some space. Dyer's Let him on the lane and well, QD, he hasn't purchased anything up yet. Uh, if this isn't indeed, indeed the armlet, you know, the zone nature's profit, so no real need for a maelstrom. Could go for this helm. He wants to eat a fairy fire. Yeah, he'll just sell one. More money. Who needs health? He'll just eat creep, so it will be the armlet. No question there. Going wrong. Oh, silence. nice silence. You should just be able to run this one out. Ah, raise. Oh, 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 the jukes. Jukes the jukes. Oh, oh, we got him. <laughs> Move. He loves himself some Shadow Fiend and uh, he's swagging about. Can I get a taunt here, Moo? Can I? Do you have the taunt? Oh, where do I check? Oh, he's got the taunt. Damn it. That was such a good moment for the taunt, too. No, he needs to watch some more NA Dota. He, he would have been taunting that one up. A little bit of unknown gaming right there. A little bit of SA. So how playing aggressive, but of course, having the time left, you can see 60 seconds. That's good enough. He'll be fine going for the early Lincoln Sphere. Very old school Weaver build. Still fairly reliable. And not quite level 6 here on the Phoenix. Once there's level 6, that's where this whole play up here gets a little bit more dicey, you know? Suddenly you're diving the tower, you're having a good old time, but with one Phoenix swoop here and an egg, it can get questioned. You're going the long way around, you're running into the rotation, someone else is coming in from the jungle farming, specifically a Night Stalker with an Iron Talon. Uh, does he have one? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I really yoloed on that. So many uh, awfully Night Stalkers lately. But it's wrong. This guy, he plays a mean Witch Doctor. Plays a really good Oracle as well. Oh man, double ring of protection strat here. Exit, that's not going to give up the uh, the Iron Talent for his Tranquils. So, Boboka. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This is a really good ward, always up against Shadow Fiend. You know he's going to want to try and spend some time here. And this hook shot, you can. Easily imagine. Eh, very little chance. Oh, they have the Earth Spirit though, so we've seen a couple of nice combo plays using Earth Spirit and Claw, which we just get uh, such a long time. Oh, he gets the hit! The mid died! Exodus! He's on top of here! He's like, oh, down! Oh, they can't quite get him! And uh, with the, the back of here from D-Chad, he throws this off. I thought that flare was gonna snipe him. It's level 4 too. <laughs> did, did it actually hit and That's what brought down so low? I don't think it did. Oh, it did hit him. That's what took him to 189. All right, that's fine. One more Vistage right click would have killed him, though. So, good stuff. Top lane. How coming in. Got his Perseverance. Relatively annoying. Hook shot. Going to hit creeps. No force staff to get in place. So, I'm like, comes in on the courier. How? He's going to look for it. There's a flag in the vision. Too far away, though. Birds. Oh, hell, yeah. just doing his thing. <laughs> Bottom way wrong. He's gonna take some of the space and Chuan, well, he'll swap out and he's gonna hand over to Le. Get himself up to level six. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Birds. 
Going to work up top there. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They can even send them out. Go take a look. They'll actually just uh, set up the creep and have snags. Top so top now the mid lane. DV Oh, Radiant's I can get with that. He's a creep. I'm going to come out here to move. A little bit off there. This gets walked on by a creep. And they might be able to grab this tower too. No hook shot quite yet. Here it is now. There's the range. You can get one right on QD. His own bird's actually blocking the path. Usually the counter to fall for. And it's off. Or, nope. Not gonna find the opportunity. They'll back away here on IG Vitality. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Boom! There it goes. So they will start taking to the dire side jungle, <laughs> rather the uh, radiant side jungle. And uh, well, maybe it is the dire side. I don't know. They got this really aggressive ward. They're spawning at the rotations. The radiant don't seem to have much choice in it. So who, who's really to say who really owns it? You know how? He's in here pretty Dyer's deep. Oh, tower they're gonna find an ice blast coming through. Gonna be on all that noise. Second up on top, and Twan is annihilated. And was that a new summon? Yeah, it was. So, I mean, at least he's the birds up and Radiance going. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Coming in here, rainy side vision. That player gonna be able to spot wrong. Kitty just comes in from the backside though. I don't think they were expecting that. The birds coming in as well though. Might be able to set up on long pog to be blocking out QD. A lot of troll offering up against this life stealer. Oh, the stun! Move! What's he doing? Is he stunned? Move! Move! What? Oh, what just happened? Ah, oh, he could have had like double raises. Oh no! QD, all right. Well, they might as well get him with the stun uh, and the silences and everything, so he'll go down. Well, what happened there? He got avoided. Received stun debuff. Well, yeah, the mini stun, but... Can we try to teleport? Well, I don't know what was going on there. It looked like he was trying to get some raises off. So, of course, have we talked about it? It is a little bit too late. Opting for it first uh, makes quite a bit of sense up against the life stealer. And uh, earlier we talked about like kind of the tempo you're setting from a shadow feet. Going for the helm of the dominator as well as the Yasha. No, no, none of this mech business. We talked about like the different changes in the mana, and I think uh, we were generally right. No real faith for the, the mana needs. So, I have to wait quite a while if there is going to be a mech. Uh, maybe you just rely on some urns. Not even sure you're going to pick that up, Frank. <laughs> Might have beach one. And he generally likes to go right into that Agnes Scepter. So, the typical Phoenix build will come out here, the Midas. It's an okay timing, honestly. It's generally what you're looking for. Anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes is regarded as a okay. Could be better, could be worse. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So, it looks like they're on a little. Play here will be the diving next to the bomb. And how it was something in the net worth, and obviously, you know, Shadow Fiend's gonna take over. I feel like has been doing a lot for him. He just seems to be like, he's almost playing a Clinks. He's walking into the enemy bay, uh, like jungle and stuff like that. And he doesn't seem to king a qu quite enough firm. Okay. Weird leg. Middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
Oh, he is dust. Oh, he got body blocked. He's like, okay, I thought it body blocked. Oh, I'm just up there on top of a wrong kick comes through as well. It made me start with a pointy well, it's only on two late though. Constellation damage. Yes, I get a good chunk of uh, change on the Chuan. Has been denied. Radiance top tower is under attack. And let's deny. Yeah, what I believe is the Radiance bottom tower top here. Tower has been denied. So, there's a mic here for a football cap. Almost done. There's that BDB. Very early here from the Razor. No SNY. No mech of his own. Oh, all this this guy. So how's this gonna affect these team fights? Well, the magnetize, the uh, the big stuns, the silences, no more. I'd imagine, you know, usually I'd say about 20 minutes in, you're looking at a lot of the uh, damage of Shadow Team being cancelled out because of uh, how prevalent the raises and the magic damage here, but. Very firm, Yasha Helm. He can even go right into the S and Y momentarily. And so this VGB, it's gonna allow him to get off the spells, but it's certainly not. I don't think it's like spike changing. It's not like one of those Radiant games where it's gonna be too, too, too good. I mean, it's obviously great against Clockwork though. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's certainly a chance that there's enough control coming out here if they're uh, trying to get the egg or attack. something, and he just shows up and starts beating the death. But... Each time shows up. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This is like the play Dyer's here from each end. tower has been denied. <laughs> have, have the life stealer hop inside your razor. They'll never suspect it. I'm gonna think it's in the Phoenix. Oh, now it's gone. Too late. Here's the dive. A little bit of slow. Here's that burn. There's that four step. And he's gonna pop out the phase boots looking for that. Hoping they'll get it. Can they kill him over top of the cog? Yeah, they'll just they'll just run on in. So Yasha phase boots, a little race car build, no drums required. Oh, it's gonna be the Mantis. Very similar to the uh, Jar Coppers. They don't seem to favor the S and Y very much in China. They're much more about the Mantis style. Uh, of course, uh, it's a silence in the Night Stalker, so it's, that's the problem, but even the game's no silences, it, it seems to be more heavily favored here. I'd be interested to know uh, why that might be, but... My Samur on Yi Chen. Thank you so much. Keep it going. And looks like life still, he's just gaining his HP back from the Ancients. Can they get an angle with the Clockwork? He has Force Staff. He has it. Oh, he doesn't want to waste it yet, though. And waiting on this eye of the storm. It's actually almost done. He can go right on Yichen right now. Go! Ah, oh, they don't want to fight. I think they could have taken that. So, that essentially amounts to nothing. That's all. Poor one out here. And it's off. And this is gonna be a smoke. Rock it on. Certainly grouping up like one. Is it on lit? There we go. So they have how many points in minus there? Are three. And that'll be I did I see. I did see me dying, so they're gonna go for the rush on. Of course, not as easy as it used to be with the half. Um, so early in the game, though, it's obviously not gonna be oh, what everyone loves. <laughs> they don't quite catch him. Um, there's no Agnes ever to view. Inside the pit here. They have dives, they have the plasma field. Jeez, this is that what a disaster of a smoke here. They got nothing out of that. Just kind of wandering around. Flare, they're using it as well. Trying to keep an eye on this pit. 
With the armlet, they really could go for the Zemo Meta Medallion, honestly. They do have plenty of damage early on. It is a rather absurd amount you get, and of course, the sustain from open wounds cannot be underestimated. So, with their own wards, they're going to spot out how with his Lincoln Sphere. And we'll see what he wants to do. Observe what they're trying to gain vision. They want to know what's happening uh, so they can take the Roshan pit. If only they knew that smoke had gone off. So, just chilling. Patient play, flare coming in. It's kind of like a casual flare. It's like, no, we're not scouting the pit. We're not thinking about it. I'm just gonna happen to shoot one nearby. All right, there's the second player. This one's all business. Right into the pit. Too late, hook shot. Right inside vision here. So, not quite sure. There's the birds. Give us a very shots. Ooh. His team, they're not quite there to capitalize on anything that he can grab. I don't know if he wants to go for it. Dyer's middle tower oh, Volka, they're banging him out here. He's gonna, all right, now suddenly, your vision shrinking. Birds up there, moon nearby, too late. Trying to find an angle here. Do you want to go into this? Can they get out? Rock it I think it might be time to retreat. This might not be the fight that you're looking for, uh, but maybe with Hal Dyer's and Lincoln Sphere. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Very tense game here. Both teams playing cautiously. Of course, this uh, this Dyer's is your first step in getting to Shanghai, so you have to imagine they're gonna play it pretty safe. Except then they drafted a phoenix, so I don't really know what's going on. All right, they haven't even fought since they got this thing. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably shrink. Yeah, so they had this lead, but now this grouping up, this farming, it's certainly favoring the side. I mean, they had a couple of picks too, right? So they got a couple of wins there, but maybe between the Shadow Fiend and the Weaver, they'll be able to bring it back up. Under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. And you'll see they're looking to take the first tier two of the game. And with the birds, Dyer's they'll easily achieve that. And well, the Dyer, they won't even get that classic train rush on for it. And so that's a, a nice movement that's going to favor Newbie. Not at a position for anything. Able to capitalize. They've got their own wards on the high ground, and there's nothing here for the Dyer. They have to stick together. They don't know whether they smoked and left that tower. And so back they will fall, and so will the rainy patch farming. And again, the swing up. <laughs> Only four to six. Twenty-seven minutes in, shortly. <laughs> and so, in order to deal with the eventual armor items of the likely Jesus guard, I think he already has a uh, probably not going to be a low sword game, but uh, as well as the AC for Razor. Going for the death layer next on how pretty pretty thin into it. So Cox and trying to block this. Birds spotting this out. Fire spirits. Oh, go for it, go for it. Nah, he's not gonna go for it. Nice shots coming through with Life Steel is running in here. There's a dust onto how. <laughs> he's just running at them though. Uh, he's the only one there. The hook shot is gonna be on to wrong. Minus armor coming in. He'll go down. And Lexa is just doing his thing. <laughs> Not even willing to hop out. So, that's it. And there he goes. So, Aegis on the move. Looks like he's heading towards that BKB up next. I like it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Another tier two, seemingly for free here. Again, no glyph. Dyer's middle tower. Has <laughs> you gotta think eventually. I, I, I gotta, gotta do something about this, but they're fighting into the ages. 
Um, instead of the juice in the back, they don't have the clockwork. They don't really have this massive amount of catch. I don't even think we've seen a Dyer's offensive egg this entire game. Attack. Just the one to save himself in the mid. So BKB now delivered. They'll rotate onto the final one. Dyer's <laughs> and there's just like, what do you do? Attack. How do you initiate into this fight? It has to be a big dive, and then once you're followed, you just run at them with the eye of the storm and hope they leave the egg. I guess. Missed chance from Raw getting lucky. Well, he's gonna come in. He's gonna throw one this way. There's not a wrong. They got a cap on top of this, and they will. The burst is gonna get on top. It's gonna be up for a second. Well, the silence too. I think it's gonna connect on to two. Not really gonna matter. They've already lost speed. He's going to X. He can come in. How? Still alive and swinging. He will time lapse back to the majority of his HP back. He's back right up to full. And the rest of the Dire side, the retreat. Four staff gonna be delivered in here for your Dyer's Earth Spirit. Is under attack. And they are on to this base. Newbie seeming to outclass IG Vitality, at least in the way this grab is working out. It is coming back in, TPing up as well, looking for a big egg play, but the birds are going to delay the chase from Chet and a kick as well. Radiance top Newbie top just having their way with them. Walking IG around, taking their buildings and leaving whenever they feel like it. So, too late. He's going to be going into the Agnum Scepter. Not shocking. He's really not going for any of these other side. Items. He's not even finishing his boots, man. He's not worried about blade mails. Yeah. He needs another Garbo. Oh, no. It's a good blade mail game. Not really. Doesn't do anything to Ag. Doesn't really do anything to Ice Blast, you know. I think that makes sense. And poorly. He's relatively poor. He doesn't get the Agnum stuff. He doesn't get the, you know, Jackson's fanciness. Yi Chen's just like throwing out this harass. Alright, so, what's the next step here? The rest of the squad just chilling down here, backing up Moo. We need the big items, the Agnum Scepter right here for Chuan. That uh, Desolator finished up for Hao. Coming in. And, uh, well, what's your really comeback here? You know, I guess it's gonna be Big Phoenix Place. And we're still waiting for one. Still waiting for him to press R. If he can possibly get this back, like, obviously this is a big choke point. In terms of the way the Phoenix players want to go, these four staffs so are able to control the fight, trying to catch them around. Of course, the security of the flight still the number one. Right, here we go. This is egg range the car now. That is an excellently put place. However, they get enough range here. It seems like they will be able to bring it down. It was a good attempt. QD. They've got the eight. Going to be coming back online. QD already cleaned up the clockwork as well as Tron, but Moose Swain. Man, he's still, still up and available. If he wants to use it, they're coming in on top. He can pop that, and you will. How now suddenly in here with the Desolator shredding through QD. He hops inside a creep. Can they figure out the right one? Unfortunately, <laughs> they won't be able to grab it. Oh, oh, Ranger actually makes him deny range. QD has to pop out. <laughs> oh, that was close. Yeah, he almost screwed him over there. All right, well, there won't be a win there. They're actually didn't get anything, so good defense. I believe this isn't, yeah, this is not counting the buyback of the Phoenix, I, I don't believe. Well, that was a while ago, sorry, my mistake. That was the previous engagement. So, either way, the graph, uh, it's uh, rather exponential here, but it's plateauing at 10k. 32 minutes in. Experience moving itself up to a similar place. So, now the AC here. Can be helpful up against the shadow fiend of course all that minor armor helping to negate it gonna be aiding your razor in the eye of the storm who's now gone for his own smy but uh these other support heroes you know you can't really get all that much that's just kind of how the life is there right, AA got coming out here oh is that his own ghost scepter oh yeah so sad life not gonna be anywhere close to the agnum scepter
I don't know how I was looking towards. Just like a Weaver AC. This is quite a. I don't know. We don't, we don't see that many Weavers, I suppose, so. I'm trying to think of some of the more classic items. Like, usually you'll see very defensive builds where you'll go Lincoln's and BKB a lot of the time, but. I don't think they have enough damage to do that. Although, it is rather concerning if he does get silenced. But they only have one. So he'll worry about that later. And just keep going for the full aggro. Next rush on. Seems to be the play. Rock it on! Man, they just have no way to deal with how. Like, how would they possibly come? It would have to be like a blinking night soccer void canceling the Lincolns into a silence into uh, a basher, I guess. Like, there's just nothing at all to catch him. So, newbie there, playing it pretty patient here. You can see IG playing a little bit defensive. Wary of any sort of a smoke, but they're in notes uh, now that in the mid lane. It's getting close to time. They actually are there to defend it, so maybe ease up a little bit, spread out, get some farm. All right, well, there's that sheep scout, and there's their own smoke. Roshan, that up for another minute. Run into Moo, set up like, ah, completely cancelled. They do get the slow here, the egg comes in, no one else gonna be locked in place, so that car is way have just given to me a little bit of problem. It'll be okay. As long as it takes too much more damage, illusions in the background, Yi Chan popping his DKB, Moo swinging, trying to get the shot. Another hook that's coming into place, takes the egg. Oh my god, what a wreck from Moo right in the middle of that three man hook. Beautiful plays by two lane move combining up. Dyer's top and there are no buybacks, and this is one hell of a victory march. There's no tick over coming here. Whoa! Ho <laughs> ho They're gonna test the waters here and make sure nobody pops up. Buyback is still available from the life slip, but they can split this. Moo in the mid. Down bottom. Now. One rest. Gonna be dead very shortly. Glyph popped out. Are fortified. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. I feel like they can get two full sets. Yeah, two full sets. How? I'm surprised they even saved that. Oh, come on. And the illusions won't be able to clean up my again. Should be able to kill these illusions. You really gonna let these illusions kill your tower? Are you serious? <laughs> All right, that was a little bit close. Oh, and oh, there's an potential. High skill. Roshan next on the list. It's just gonna be Moonshard. I I think I kind of like that. I mean, obviously you don't really need the Maelstrom. Oh, okay, they, they know they need the Yolo play. However, now you're fighting directly in the Age of Cell. You can't even pop the Yolo and just hope for the best. Pop the PKB as well. The damage is now coming out. I'm sure that's out. Just railing away on top of the two late. Some more cogs to place here. Walking up any escape exit defense coming to the Oh, he gets violence up with the Urshaker. The with the plays. No egg for you. Woo! Triple kill for Hal. He's dominating this game. And the GG comes out from IG Vitality. Uh, thorough whomping in game number one. It's looking a little bit like LGD versus IG Vitality. Hopefully they can uh, put a better show. They had a couple of good moments versus LGD. It's not totally hopeless for IG Vitality, but 